Alright, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Dell Latitude 7400 2 in 1. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. We're going to be using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver to do this. Alright, so let's go ahead and undo them. Alright, so, oh, actually these screws stay in place. Okay, so just undo the screws and then we'll pop the bottom cover off. If this video helps you out, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living, excuse me. All right, so let's get all these screws out and then we should be able to just pop this bottom cover off. So now we undid all the screws. I'm gonna get my fingernails in there and then pull this up, okay? And pull this. Right. Looks like some of the screws are kind of re-latching. Okay, slide your fingernail or a little pry tool in here. Oh, it's really stuck there for some reason. Maybe we gotta push somewhere. There's a clip. There you go. Okay. So sometimes the clip will hook somewhere, and when you push it, it helps move the hook out of the way. And there we go. Right. So there's the bottom cover. Um, for some reason, this laptop isn't. Oh, that's why the battery's not charging. It's disconnected for some reason. So this battery was disconnected, so I'm gonna pull this all the way in and hopefully after that, it should charge, okay, there we go. So we pulled that all the way in, all right. Let me actually get a thumbnail here real quick. All right, and that might be the only issue. They changed the SSD, um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to install Windows on there because they don't know how to do that. So I'll plug this in, all right. Uh, let's see, is there any upgradable, removable stuff here? There's the heatsink under here. I don't think there's enough room for a removable RAM, so I'm pretty sure there's no removable RAM here. Um, I know somebody's gonna ask me, like, why didn't I open it? Why didn't I check? So let me just quickly lift this and take a look. Yeah, there's nothing you can do under there, so I'm gonna leave that alone because I don't want to risk damaging anything. Okay, we're just gonna quickly take a look. You got the CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery here. It's a small one and it plugs in right there. If you're gonna replace yours, the black cable is towards the outside, the red cable is towards the inside, so make sure if you're replacing the battery that it's not flipped around or you can destroy your computer, right? This uses an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. One screw, undo that screw, this pops up slightly and pulls back. Um, Oh, actually there's two screws here holding this metal plate in. Again, I'm not gonna take it out unless I need to. There's a WWAN uh, slot here, um, and it looks like it goes this way. Interesting. How would that work? Cause it will hit the SSD here. And then there's another SSD, or they're pointing to the SSD and the WLAN. Okay, you can see the wireless antennas right there underneath okay interesting how did they do oh wait what okay so the wireless card is here and then the antennas are connected there i'm not going to take those out if you want to see how to remove those you can watch a i have a few videos where i actually take all this stuff out okay um what's this little connector jptn1 i'm not too sure i've never seen that kind of connector before what is that maybe fingerprint reader Okay, power button or fingerprint reader here. Um, you got one speaker connector here, and then that has a flat cable running along to this speaker here, okay? Um, the battery model number is right there, NF2 w, uh, M <laughs> NF2 MW, okay? So that's the battery. Looks like just a few screws, one screw here, one here, nothing there, another screw here, and one here and here. These all are PH1, JS1, except for this one. There's a PH0, JS0 screw. All right, you got a keyboard here. This looks like keyboard backlight, JTP. So this is for the touchpad, most likely. All right, and then you got this cable going here, which JUSH. I don't know what that is. Sorry, I'm not pulling all this stuff out because the only thing they have that's not working was the battery charging and the... Um, needing the OS, so I don't want to risk damaging anything else. Um, you got another little cable here, JLED1, so this is likely for the LED on the front. And then you got this uh, JCAM1, so this is for the camera and most likely the microphones. You got this cable in here for the LCD LVDS. Um, 
I can't quite tell if this one pops up, like pops out, or it slides in. It's most likely one that pops up. Um, so sorry, I'm not uh, going over all this stuff, but I'm just kind of giving you a quick look at what's inside. If you need to replace the battery, you do need to unroute the wireless antennas from the battery. Um, the antenna is actually right here, and the wires plug in again to the wireless card over there. So, yeah. If you watch enough of my videos, you'll actually be able to figure out how to remove most of this stuff and uh, upgrade or replace components on these. Um, but in this case, I'm not going to be showing it again because the issue is not with that, and the issue is with installing windows. I'm going to see if the battery is even working, because if it doesn't, then we might have to get a replacement battery. So I'm pressing delete or F2 to get into the BIOS. All right, so it's going slow. So I have a feeling maybe the battery is completely dead, but let's see battery information. So actually charging health is excellent. So if I unplug it now, yeah, it stays on. Okay, so we should be okay in terms of the battery. Um, but definitely we will need to redo the operating system. So I'm going to shut this off. Let's go ahead and put this back together and then we should be good to go. All right, so I'll let this continue charging and we'll just get the cover back on. So this one's nice because it stays together. There are these little clips at the bottom. So to get this on, um, usually, let me see, does this one just sandwich down? Maybe it just sandwiches down. Usually this, I have to like tilt, yeah, you do have to tilt it like this, and then you can see now this all fell into place. Okay, so make sure to tilt it down like that, or tilt this part up, and then get that in first, and now we'll get these screws in. I like to twist the screws backwards first to make sure that they go in properly. Okay, yeah, it seems like they're going in weird at some weird angle, and I think that's because this one is moving out of the way. So make sure this stays in the right place. And then I twist it backwards to hear it click into place. And there we go. All right. All right. Let me get that screw in. These screws do go slightly in at an angle. Okay. So they're not straight down. And yeah, again, it's good to twist it backwards. You hear it click and fall into place of the screw mount, or you can feel it if you can't hear it. Okay. Oh, this side's not clicking all the way in. Make sure that goes all the way in. And then tighten that down, all right? In the center, make sure it's good, all right? And then we'll get this. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, if you can't help out that way, again, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well. If you like my review videos, I have a channel called It's Been Reviewed. Same uh, profile picture, but zoomed in. And yeah, if you can subscribe to that one, that will help me a lot. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this bite.